Hello, good evening and welcome. Hello. It's time for us to have a lovely time. It's 2020, so we're all in our houses. We can't be too loud or we'll up and set our spouses. Mark and Ben are in the doghouse three times a day. Joe is the same, but Willip is a good boy. And I don't know his name. It's the whole session podcast. 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 Hello. 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 Wow, we've got chocolate eggs in our tummies and we can't go tempin bowling. It's weird, isn't it? How is everyone? Good. Really good, good Alex. All right. but better for seeing you guys. Oh, that's nice. Last week, we played a couple of bits all together live over Zoom and it wasn't nice. But apart from that, we're loving doing these isolation podcasts. So thank you for any comments, supports and donations that have kept this going. Yeah, and Joe has got today's catchphrase. Isn't that right, Joe? Not on my watch. Lovely. Guys, uh, at this stage, I'd particularly like to hear from Ben Reynolds, the drummer. Are you guys all down with that, if I focus on him for a bit? Not on my watch. (laughs) And would you mind reacting in a big way to all of Ben Reynolds' answers, please? Sure. Yo, Ben, how are you finding everything? Pretty good. Whoa! Whoa! (laughs) Amazing. (laughs) Yeah. Been doing some gardening today. Hey, I've got another question. Oh, yeah, go on. Have you been doing any gardening today? (laughs) Yeah, I've been doing some gardening today. No way! (laughs) No! Hey, Ben. Yeah. Uh, what's your diet been like? Good. Whoa! Uh, okay. That's typical Ben, that is. Typical. <laughs> ben. Yeah. Have, have you seen anything interesting out of your window? No. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Very cheeky. Uh, we've got a uh, last question. How's your hair? How's your hair? Your pubic Big. hair? Big. Okay, lovely stuff. <laughs> Back to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Stitch up. Back to everyone else now. Has Stitching anyone tried up. to learn anything or start a new hobby? No. Do you want to know what I've been doing? Yes. I've, I thought it'd be nice to learn all the names of the trees and the flowers in the garden. That is nice. It is nice. But you never guess what? What? And I thought this was mad. They don't have names. The dog's got a name and the children have got names. <laughs> the, tree, the trees and the plants are just like, trees and plants. So I've, so I've, I've given them, I have given them names, but I've made them easy to remember. I've got Mr. and Mrs. Tree, <laughs> I've got <laughs> Mr. Grass, Lord Bush, L- Lieutenant Hedge and Sir Weedington. <laughs> You've only got one weed. What about yeah. your AstroTurf? Have you named your AstroTurf? Yeah, Mrs. AstroTurf. OK, well, the guys oh, yeah. have been busy as always and we've got lots of nice songs for you today, but we're going to start with <laughs> Joe Auckland's Damn. contribution. Joe, what have you written for us today? Some road safety advice. Oh, why? No one's on the road anymore. Mm. Well, very Pardon? true. But mm. if they were, this would be relevant. <laughs> okay, are you ready for us to hear the song? Not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> you must be aware of your underwear. When you travel by car, be it near or far The wrong choice of briefs makes your journey less brief Wear the wrong skids and your vehicle may skid (laughs) I don't understand how your underwear could save so many lives but please consider this each time you drive Rubber knickers, rubber knickers can cause delays ah, Rubber knickers, rubber knickers can cause accidents Rubber knickers, rubber knickers are not safe Rubber knickers, rubber knickers can even lead to deaths Rubber knickers, rubber knickers, they look great. Rubber knickers, rubber knickers, they can really chafe. Please don't wear your upper knickers. Please don't wear your knickers. That is a great 
Woo! piece of music. Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Nice, really nice vocal like harmonies. Today. Nice vocal harmonies. Yeah, oh, very thanks. nice. Jazz. Jazz music. Absolutely lovely stuff, and, <laughs> and quite right too. But we do, of course, have a special one-person guest audience, so let's meet him now. Guys, it's Max Rushton. <laughs> it's Max Rushton! <laughs> Please, can you all say hello to Max Rushton? Hi, Max. Hi, Max. Hello. Hi, Max. Hello, Maxwell. Hello, the band. There we go. Uh, welcome to the Horn Section podcast. Uh, Thanks. Please, could you describe? We haven't. Sorry, it's it's um, formalities first, Max. Uh, yeah, please absolutely. describe the chair that you're sitting on, please. Wooden, wooden, Is it? wooden with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slats. A classic sort of. Let me show you. Yeah, I'd like to see you. it. Oh yeah, it's a classic Just kitchen chair. Imagine a wooden kitchen chair, listener. Do you want to guess what sort of chair I'm sitting on? I imagine it is a cushioned poof. Ah, I don't think you could be further from the correct answer. It's a very hard sort of plastic chair. Interesting. Not not a comfortable choice. And if I had my time again, I would choose your chair. Okay. So first of all, let me know if I've got any of this wrong. Your name, Max Rushton. Correct. Uh, What's that short for? Max Rushton. Ah. But I was born Max Rubinstein, but we changed my name when I was six because we had death threats. But it wasn't the the decision making process wasn't up to me. Who who is we in that situation? Mainly, I think mainly my parents. Right. Mm. I had Max Rushton and diamonds are forever young guns and roses are red red wine gums. No, that is accurate. Official job title: sports broadcaster. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Okay, song time. Great. So so uh, I quite often do a song about the guest, and I I do a pun on their name. Mm-hmm. So I found a song that sounds a bit like your name and okay, then built, built it around that. Do you want to guess the song? Uh, is it uh, something about rushing? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I don't know any songs about rushing. Well, it's, it's not in the title. but it Rushing is one... Home for Christmas. Oh, not far off. It's Can't Help Falling in Love uh, by Elvis and then later UB40. Okay. So uh, here it is. Hopefully you can hear this. Oh, you, oh no, I realise you can't hear that. Can you hear that? I can't hear it, but I love it anyway. No one ever <laughs> has ever written a song about me before. So. I've realised it's going into my headphones, so I'm going to take my headphones out for a second, so I won't okay. be able to hear you, but you should be able to hear it. Okay. Who would I want to host a radio show with? Only Max Rushton. But I can't present the warm-up on talk sport with you quite long charlie baker they gave the job to him so i can't present the warm-up on talk sport with you go to the bridge like a river flows surely to the sea i'd give you anything if you Present it with me. Take my band, take my whole wife too. Cause I can't present the warm up on talk sport with you, Max Rushton. It's lovely. Thank you, Max. Um, I had to sing that quite quietly because my wife and children were asleep, and a, a lot of things I do now I do quite quietly because my wife and children are asleep yeah I think it gave it a kind of it in many ways made it more moving it was tender okay it's now time for the max quiz oh it's just the same same sort of thing would yeah. you like some music under the max quiz yes please okay you won't be able to hear it um, but... can I choose which music it is you can have either Rockingham Cindy Saxy Lullaby or Pitsy music can I have Erasure no you can have Rockingham Cindy Saxy Lullaby or some Pitsy music the first one Rockingham Cindy that's a uh, piece on banjo played by okay oh thanks Joe okay here it goes so it's a question all about Max's um it turns out there's not many people called Max which surprised me a lot of dogs yes yes uh uh, they don't feature but here we go Mm. question one what was the name of the actor who played the sort of handsome flatmate in Ugly Betty just the first name (laughs) Max yes what was the name of the guy who invented sociology and died exactly 100 years ago? 
Max? Yep. What's the name of my male cousin on my mum's side? Max. Max, correct. What What do um, my family and I wear when it's raining? Max. Very good at this. If, if you're not that hungry, if you're not that hungry, what are the best burgers to order from McDonald's? Just Max. Yeah. That's the end of the Max quiz. Thanks. Here's a question. When people um, offer you a Pepsi Max, Max, do you, do you know if they're offering you a normal Pepsi or not? Do you wait for a second Max? <laughs> um, I am confident that the only people that are going to offer me a Pepsi Max know me so well that they don't use my name in such a sort of formal way. What if there's a gathering? Though? What if there's a few people that are being offered drinks? I would have a Coke Zero. That's genuinely, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be facetious. Okay, we're going back to the band now. Bye-bye. Okay, great. Bye. Oh, that was great from Max, but I'm back here with the band now. When do you put your bins out, Mark? Uh, well, there's a song about it. No way. Thursday, there ain't no bin man Friday. There ain't no bin man Saturday. There ain't no bin man Sunday. There ain't no bin man Monday. Tuesday. On Wednesday he does green, brown and black. Thursday. <laughs> there ain't no bin man Friday. There ain't no bin man Saturday. There ain't no bin man Sunday. There ain't no bin man Monday. Tuesday. On Wednesday he does green, brown and black. Oh, that's <laughs> yes, Wednesday. Nice. <laughs> Wednesday, yeah, <isn't> exactly. <laughs> Wednesday heavy, isn't it? It's You're Wednesday. Been... Yeah, he does all of them. Heavy. He does all of them. And the food one, but I couldn't fit that in the gap. And now I'd, lo- I'd like to launch my brand new game. Is everyone up for that? Yes, mm. please. Yes. Mm. It's exciting. It's grown up. It's called Name of That Tune. <laughs> it, works, ah. it, wo- it works like this. I'm going to describe some sheet music I've found, and you yeah. have to tell me the name of that tune. Where did you find it? I found it on Google. Was it in okay. the Beethoven shop? I'm now going to start describing the sheet music. Uh, buzz in with your instruments when you know the tune. So there's there's two um, sets sets of fences for this tune. <laughs> on the left of the top fence, there's a big curly symbol. On the left of the bottom one, there's a small curly symbol and a colon. <laughs> on the top one, near the curly thing, there's a little B on the third line up. And on mm. the bottom one, there's a little B on the second line up. So and F both, major. F major. Both lines say three quarters on them. In three, and, four. And the, and now we're really going to get going. Reading from left to right, on the top one, there's a tadpole joined to another tadpole, and there's a little dot after the first tadpole, and a little dash, and a little dash on the second one, and both the tadpoles are on an extra rung below the bottom rung. There's nothing on the lower bars yet, but now we're on to the second fence, and on the bottom one, there are th- three see-through tadpoles upside down, and all of them have little dots on, and they're right at the top of the fence. On the top one, we have three tadpoles. Uh, the first is just below the bottom rung, then one on that extra floating rung, and then one between the lowest two rungs. Next bit of fence now. On the, t- <laughs> on the top, <laughs> on the top, there's a th- see there's a see-through tadpole, just one perched on the bottom rung, followed by two joined-up tadpoles on the floating rung. Again, one has a dot after it, and one has a little line. Are there, near are there the any top lyrics? Uh, do you want me to tell you the lyrics? Yes. That might help. Yeah, it says quicker, happy, birthday it? happy birthday to... Yes, Ben Reynolds. Is it happy birthday to you? It is happy birthday to you. Okay, next piece. <laughs> is this one of those things where you think it would work? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> where you think you we're the, actually going to be get be- it. You said the beginning of the next bar, that there's a note on the top. I never said the, the word fence. bar. No, you said fence, well, actually. Fence, but yeah, you said at the top of the fence. Yeah, which can't have been right. I was thinking that. Yeah, yeah, on the, on, the, on the bottom bit. On the, there's two rungs of fences. This, had, this is on the bottom bit with the curly ones. Oh, is the, is the harmonic the bass line or something? I don't know. <laughs> okay, next one. Everyone ready for the next one? Yeah, Shall we start yeah. with the lyrics this time? And if we don't There get are no it, we'll lyrics to this music. one. No oh, lyrics. Oh, great. <laughs> but this one is Allegro con brio, please. Ah, oh, with movement. Um, I'll just do the top uh, line of fence this time. Um, again, that's, oh, no. Oh, yes. Is Jordan. it Colonel Bogey's March? No. No, and you're out. Okay, there are three letter Bs. There are three letter Bs this time. One in the middle rung, one between the top two uh, rungs, yeah, E flat, and, and then one sort of yeah, two we know thirds where, we know. of the way up. 
Then it's uh, two four, so there should be a half, really. Then there's a little, oh, like an apostrophe. It's FF, please. And uh, there are th three tadpoles, th three tadpoles on the second bar up. Uh, one I know, has, I know. One, one has a hook. Yes, will it? Beethoven's fifth. Correct. Oh, well done. Oh, well thank done. God. Who enjoyed the game? I really oh. enjoyed it, Alex. It's really good. Not yeah. yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was good. I think good for that's the got legs. For the TV show. It's the TV show in itself. Yeah. Well, thanks, Willop. And let's talk to you for a bit now. You moved to Hastings a little while ago, and we all teased you a lot for it because you had to travel miles to get anywhere. Is it now proving to be a good decision because of the lockdown? I'm glad I'm not in London. Yes. Yeah. Much I'm, better. I'm, these are I'm yes jealous. or no answers. All of these yes. are yes or no answers. How do you feel about getting takeaway food at the moment? Yes. Have you ever worn boxing gloves? I can't imagine it. Yes. Hmm. Do you prefer pigeons or parties? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and will the schools ever reopen, or is it this now until all our kids are grown-ups? Yes. Great stuff, Willop. And you're going to play a song live for us now, isn't that right? Oh, right, yes. This yes. is a real treat for us now. Willop's going to play live on the Zoom. The stage is set. The lighting is wonderful. There are five people in the audience more than usual for Willip. Go for it. Uh, so, good a few evening. days ago. Good evening, good evening, London, evening. that sort of thing. Good evening, yep. During the uh, <laughs> daily government press briefing, uh, Home Secretary Priti Patel said the following. Through the government's ongoing monitoring and testing programme, as of 9am today, there have been 300,034, 974,000 tests carried out, <laughs> which I thought was a hilarious number. Yeah, yeah good. So... I've done this as a little tribute to her. How many roads must Preeti Patel walk down Before you can call her a politician? And how many seas must Preeti Patel sail Before she sleeps in the sand? And how many of Preeti Patel's cannonballs must fly Before they're forever banned? The answer, my friend, is 300,034,974,000. The answer is 300,034,974,000. Thank you. Very good. Wow. Happiness work, Wilbur. First ever political weird. song. Did you see mm. our great leader I... across the pond, Donald, did a similar thing a couple of days later? But he Who's considered... Donald? As Signor Trump, mm. he said the word million about three times in, in one Why number. not? <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. Well, how do you top that? Well, you play it another Willip classic. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Hit it! <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star How I think to myself, what a wonderful world. So, what do you think of that, Alex? I really so like it, well, So far, so good. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir. What a wonderful world. Oh, nice singing. Yeah. Some might say you've got the joke by now, but no, no, no. no. no is that a joke? Third one on. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Thank you very much. Very good. More, more. A serious court cases, that, isn't it?
Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> I wonder what Max Rushton thinks about music. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello again, Max. Hi. Uh, we're going to talk about music for a bit now. Marvellous. Do you, do you like it? Love it. What was the last album or playlist you put on? Uh, the last playlist I played was, I think it's All Out 90s or something like that. Yeah, great. Uh, do you make music, Max? Um, well, you, I sent you a song that I did. Yes. So We're going to play so, that in a sec. Yeah. So am I allowed to give you one of my aims and ambitions? Yes. The, yes. So I wrote about six songs about my now wife after I somehow chanced upon a record deal with Warner Music. We're doing this story. Yeah, we're doing the Warner can do this story. Yes, now, if you we'll, we'll put some music under that. Do, okay. uh, do you want some music by Willip? Yes, please. Yeah, like Willip. Okay. Uh, it's ambient music. Okay. Okay, yeah. So you had a record deal. Do you want a really long story? I mean, no, I'm... no. A oh, short story. Yes, please. So, can I give you the long story? Okay, but I will probably have to speed it up on GarageBand. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, Joe Calzaghi, the boxer. Ah, this is a long story. Mm. He came on a TV show called Soccer AM, um, if you remember it. Yes, you don't need to explain that bit. That bit <laughs> okay, sure. fine, right. And I asked him if it was hard having your dad as a coach. His dad was his coach because dads can be quite tough on their kids. My dad really pushed my clarinet practice, right? And... Um, at the end of the show, the producer told me never to mention the clarinet again because I was meant to be a kind of man of the people, right? Wow. Yeah, good. So I therefore asked, I mentioned it a lot to the point where he buckled and let me play the EastEnders theme tune while Dion Dublin played on his dube. His dube, of course. Yeah, we've tried to get him a few times. Have you? Hmm. Um, I'll part he, as a Cambridge legend, Dion Dublin is a hero of mine. I'm back to my story. So then... Um, Amy McDonald came on the show, singer, do you know? Yeah, I think I liked her as well. Yeah, yeah, she's really good. And I said, your album's great, there's no clarinet on it, what are you doing? And she said, come and do it on the next single. And I said, yeah, sure. And then her manager rang up and said, do you want to do it? I said, yes, please. And then she wrote a piece with like nine flats in it, which is hard for me. So the dog is barking. Hi, dog. I don't think that's a reflection of the story. Nine flats okay. is a lot, can it? Oh. I didn't know they could be that many. <laughs> I don't know, maybe there were six, who knows? Anyway, uh, I... Uh, Shut I think... up, dog. Sorry, that's okay. I'll pick her up. Is the dog the, your way of editing how long you want anecdotes to be? No, she so, does, yeah, she does bark when, when they go on a bit. Yeah, so so I played, I did the video, which you can see for Love Love, I play a busker. And then I played the Hammersmith Apollo, which was really quite a thing for someone who's not... With, quite with, the, with, with In the encore, I came on and played. It was like extraordinary. And then, but, but when I recorded it in the studio, I was putting my clarinet away. I was just sort of singing idly. And <clears throat> I can't particularly sing, but the her manager said, oh, you can sing a bit. Do you want a record contract, like a Heineken advert, right? And so I said, well, all right. And we met for coffee and he said, would you like to do a football song? And I said, no, because they're all really terrible. He said, could you play the guitar? I said, yes, I've never tried to write any music. And he said, well, why don't you give it a try? Warner Music owe me a favor. And he rang them up and they gave me a not insubstantial amount of money right then. And then I wrote some songs and then I never did anything with them because have you seen An Eye for an Eye by Nick Knowles? No, okay, I think, should I? Well, if, I, if, if, if you recommended Mungo Santa Maria to me, I will, I will recommend Eye for an Eye by Nick Knowles to you. I don't want to ever write and record these songs. And I just thought that you and all your band were musical and might be able to do that for me. Yeah, well, we, we'd love to record one of your songs. Mm, but they're all really bad. Ah. Mm. Um, oh, that's a, oh was, that a, was that a wife? What was that, love? They really, she says they're really bad. Yeah, and they're all about her. It's quite tragic. That's brilliant. I'm glad that she doesn't like them. Well, look, yeah. we, could play, we could play your song now if you want. Okay, yeah. I wrote a song about all the nice messages that if you are a sports broadcaster, you get. And I, over the years, have had many nice messages sent to me on all, all aspects of social media. And the, the song is called In Your Back Garden. And what, you sent it to me and I've sent it around the band. So they've added uh, banjo and backing singing so far. Oh, amazing. It's still being passed around, Max, so you can't hear it yet. But the, okay. uh, the listeners at home will hear your song now. Great. Shut your mouth, scumbag Rushton. Before you get fist and anus in your back garden. You special fuck, 
You've got a face like a melted wheel of bin. I've never hated someone without meeting them prior. But in your case, I think an exception can be made. Hash tag bell with hashtag wet wipe. You won't. play a game now which is uh, hopefully i'm um, gonna uh, be good uh it's called which song am i speaking uh, yeah. I, i'm gonna sing the first two letters of each word just want to see if this works okay fine I, I might hit the tune later on okay just the first two letters of each word yeah just to see if that's fun and will you do it with the melody or just i might get to the melody if later on okay fine uh okay you ready it's just one song so you either okay. win or don't Fine. Oh ba ba, oh ba ba, oh ba ba. Hawa isutukun. <laughs> Can I have it? A... We're still going. Okay. What, what would you like? Do you want a clue? I just wanted one more. I wanted one more time. If that was it. From but... the beginning. Oh no no no. We're, we're just getting going. Okay. okay right. So wari he, and then we go again. Oh ba ba, I should have let you go. So that's understandable. That one. Oh ba ba, I should have let you go. I know you ought. Of C, yeah. Me ho yo wa it to be. I had it until you carried on. Okay, we're going to get a bit of the tune. Shouldn't have let you go. That one. Well, maybe. Uh, No, it's not that one, actually. Oh, it's not? Okay. Is that even a song? Yeah, it is, but it's not this one. We'll do Mm. the melody now. (laughs) My look is kit me. And I... I <laughs> might cut it. Step B. <laughs> uh, we're going three lines left. Well, okay, I yeah. know it. So your look, hello, your my. Give me a sigh. Hit oh, me yes. back yeah, one yeah. more time. I should have got it quicker, shouldn't I? But, but frankly, uh, it uh, hit me, baby, one more time by Britney Spears. Better version, though, isn't it? To be honest, even if I had got it straight away, I would have wanted you to sing all of it. Oh, ba ba. That's how it starts. It's really good. Ah, um, it's time for questions from the band for you. Great. Okay, yes. Uh, I've got to try to work out how to play these. I think it'll be all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, first of all, let's play a question from the, sax- uh, from the saxophone player, Mark Brown. Here we go. Hello. Max Rushton. This is Mark, the um, saxophone player in the horn section. My question to you is as follows. Who is the most famous person you've ever met? And how? And why? And where? And when? Oh, 
Interesting. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, you're meant to play that bit afterwards. <laughs> um, yeah. Do, would you like an answer to that question? Uh, yes, but before we do it, I'm just going to work out at what point my recording has failed, because it has failed at one point. So let's just have a quick moment. Oh, this will be interesting. Oh, I see. Quite a long time ago. <laughs> my but I've got, the, I've got the Zoom recording, so we'll have something. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm happy to whatever's better for you. I'm. I've got nothing. To, I've got to write a column which I don't want to start. So I'm happy to. No, it's fine. Mine. Mine. When I took the headphones off to listen to your song, uh, but it's fine. <laughs> you I, should, whatever. Whatever. You well, because I can always. It's fine because I can always. I've got the Zoom recording, and I can always. I think it'd be funnier playing in your real thing <laughs> if I have to <laughs> reinstate okay. stuff. Okay. Sure. So yeah, Mark's question who, was most. Who, who edits this? Who edit? Do you edit this? No, a man called Joe, a very <laughs> oh, poor, patient poor man Joe. called Joe. Yeah, <laughs> fucking hell, poor Joe. Okay. Um, who's the most famous person I've ever met? It is, um, Dr. Carl Kennedy from Neighbours. Oh, uh, good. Yeah. Because, and how? Yeah. How? Because uh, I needed a shoulder to cry on when my now wife disappeared when I went to Australia for four days to chase her in a kind of stalky way. Okay. And why? We've done that. And where? Where? And when? When. We haven't got the when, I think. Uh, tw- when was it, love? When did I come to Australia? 2010? She's blocked it out of her mind. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so that's one down out of the five. Great. Uh, next question from, I think this is from Joe, the trumpeter. Okay. I mean, it's... Argu- oh, no, it's all right. I'd just say, it's. Uh, it, some people would argue that he isn't the most famous person. So it wasn't necessarily it's how you judge it, but in my mind he is. I, I've, I've accepted it. Here we go. Oh, hello. Oh, this Can is, I speak to Max Rostrum, please? This is a pianist. Sure. Okay. He's going to ask sure. you the question again, I think. Oh, oh hello. Can I speak to Max Rostrum, please? Speaking. Oh, hi, Max. Yeah, uh, it's Ed hi. from the Horn Section. Hi. Listen, yeah. with all your sporting journalism experience, I just wanted to ask you, um, if there was a Royal Rumble involving cheeses, mm. which cheese do you think would uh, still be standing in the ring at the end? Thanks very much. Love you. Bye. So Bye. Strong uh, it's a great, cheese. Mm. It's a really great question. It depends which order they uh, come out obviously but i think an edam yeah <laughs> yeah simple as that there we go yeah, yeah. Mm. uh um ben's question i'm slightly dreading i haven't listened to Willop's question so i'll do that one last here's ben's question quick one i think yeah okay hi there max ben the drummer here hi, i've ben. got in my house three buckets one bucket which i use for mopping the floors one bucket which i use for mixing cement and the third bucket is for all other things. I just wondered, how many buckets have you got in your house and what do you use them for? Mm, Thanks. Dr- dry stuff there from the drummer. Bucket. I have one, I have one bucket. It's enough, and it? it's the most important use it ever had was when I was sitting on my toilet and the toilet fell off the wall and I had to pour the contents of the toilet into something to then pour down the second toilet and the bucket played a pivotal role in that thank you great answer uh joe the trumpeter now what's the most stressful thing you've ever been late for like when were you in a max rushton mm-hmm. he's done a pun on oh. your name yeah yeah uh oh, i'm like like very punctual i imagine you are too alex with hate being people. late yeah hate being late mm. I hate people who are late. It's a sign that they think their life is more yeah, important yeah. than yours. So I can't think of one. Never been late. Love Never that. Never been late for and, and finally, Willip here. Mm-hmm. 20 seconds, apparently, this one lasts. Hi, Max. This is Will. My question is, um, what are your top favourite family members? So that's uh, starting at number one, your favourite member of your own family, and then getting gradually worse until you get to number 50 mm. of your own family. <laughs> Thanks, bye. So fifth. Yeah, so from best to worst, please, Max. Okay, okay. Um, so uh, wife, number, uh, is it one? Number one, lucky wife. Mm-hmm. Then I'll go Uncle Michael, uh, mum, dad. Wow, sorry, Uncle Michael, 
Number two. It's my list. Okay. S- sister. Oh, Uncle Michael again. Num- um, mm. Then... My, then Greta, Stuart. Okay, what, what relation to these? C- sorry, cousin's wife, Greta, then cousin Stuart. The cousin's wife? Yeah. Before the cousin? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I've yeah, thought about yeah, this. Yeah. Um, cousin Matthew, cousin Rachel, Auntie Diana, cousin... Katie, Uncle Richard. Oh, so there's, sorry, is that 10 between Uncle Michael and Uncle Richard? Yeah. Uh, so my cousin's kids. Yeah. yeah. Ben, then Alex. Definitely that way around? Yes. Then Auntie Gay. Pardon? Yes. And then... Are we in last place? Are we coming to last place now? Cousin Rachel's, no, cousin Matthew's wife, Georgia. Oh dear. <laughs> cousin Rachel's husband, Chris. I think it's Chris. Sorry, has Rachel got a wife and a husband? <laughs> uh, but do you know what number we're on now? Should I have been taking notes? I feel like we're getting there. Okay. Um, oh, I've completely forgotten my in laws. So they're going to have to, we're going to have to stick them in a bit. Mm, I don't think we can do that. <laughs> okay. I think there's a reason why you forgot them. <laughs> Shit. Jay, I forgot you're in, I forgot all your family. It's too late. Top 50 family members. That is so messed up. <laughs> no, it is, isn't it? My family are better than your family. Okay. Um, mm. Well, I'd like to insert them in the top 10. Uh, I'm sure you would. Ali, Ali Ant and Colin. Mm. Um, let's just let's just zip down to last place now, and then we'll leave it there. You don't want to go. He, he want. I want. I don't want him to feel shortchanged. Okay, <laughs> but I'd, I'm just quite keen to hear who your worst family member is. Uh, oh yeah, one of Jay's cousins who I don't know. Perfect. Okay, well, great questions there. Uh, Tim Key has a question for you too. Um, does he um, does he enjoy the his uh, his unique position in talk sport where he's constantly covering for other people's shows uh, does he choose to do it that way or would he rather have a definite daily slot i even wonder whether it works out financially better because i used to do um i used to be a paper boy and uh i didn't have a paper round i was just there to cover people's paper rounds so i got paid uh, a daily rate for being there and then plus a rate for doing a paper round when someone was ill. So I wonder whether he has the same sort of system. Mm. So, so you want to be asking stuff like whether he's on a retainer anyway, yeah. and then he gets paid. In addition, he gets paid for each show he does. Yeah. No, it's interesting. Yeah. Definitely interesting. If you could, could ask him, maybe ask him how much, when there has been an offer of his own show, what sort of figures they were talking about, and then what he's pulling in each year the way that he's doing it. <laughs> Sorry, can we run by them one more time? Uh, would you like a daily slot on Talk Sport? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I guess it was if it's a no, do you deliberately fill in for others? No, but it's kind of useful. It's sort of... It, it, I, I, I do like the variety, yes. Uh, are you on a retainer? I don't think he knows what a retainer is. I have. They have to give me a certain number of shows a year beyond what I already have. How much money do you earn each year? It really varies. I had a very good, I had a very good, I'm going to say significantly less than I used to. <laughs> mm-hmm. And how much per show on, on Talk Sport? Back to Talk Sport now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to answer that question. <laughs> no, fair enough. Is that okay? Of course. I want course. to be honest with everybody. Yeah. I, I think you yeah. are being honest. You're being honest by saying I don't I want, so. want Thanks to Thanks for those that. questions, Tim. I mm. really appreciate them. That's it, Max Rushton. Thanks. Uh, is there anything you'd like to plug um, on your excellent and yellow website, maxrushton.com? There is currently no merchandise available. None available. Mm. Um, well, thank you, Max. It's one, minute to, no, I... it's one minute to three. Yeah. I scheduled in ending at three. I enjoyed it. Th- I'm giving it three. Three out of five. Which, we should perhaps play golf sometime. Yeah, yeah. Maybe in September? Sure, yeah. 
Okay, well, I'll give you a shout about that. Thank you, Max. No worries. Right, let's find out who we've got in the band. On trumpet, a little tootle, please. It's... Joe Auckland. On drums, it's... Ben Reynolds. On saxophone, it's... Mark Brown. On bass guitar, it's... (laughs) This is a good bit. Willip Collier. And who's that on piano? <laughs> oh, I thought you were about to go into your song for the week. I thought this was a carefully choreographed... <laughs> <laughs> no, it was my attempt to find out who's that on piano. <laughs> who's that on piano? I don't know. No. Mo- moving on. And after the massive success of I Themed a Theme last week, the pianist <laughs> oh, has got another game. <laughs> another quiz for us. Isn't that right, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's Ed. Oh, hello, Ed. Yeah. Yep. You've, got, you've got another quiz for us? I have got, I've got a really good quiz. And it's um, you've just got to find the, uh, find the MPs, guys. Let's hit the theme tune, Joe. <laughs> they could be hiding in number 10. They could be hiding in checkers. They could be hiding in a blacked out car. They could hide in a Westminster bar. They could be hiding in their second home. They could be hiding in their third home. They're probably hiding because they've done something wrong. But are they hiding in a song? Hidden MPs! <laughs> Amazing! Liberal uh, auto tune. Amazing! <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> it took, took me five minutes to write the tune and three hours to auto tune. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, the answer, guys, is mm-hmm. yes. Uh, they are hiding in a song. Um, ah, because that's ah. the name of the game. Hello and welcome to Hidden MPs. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> formal. I like it. I think that's you should so. post next week. Ed, the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I think I should. Right then, guys. So here are the rules. They're a bit different. It's a slightly maverick quiz. First of all. Uh, I'd like you to wave when you buzz in, as well as mm. make a noise, because sometimes it's difficult to hear hear mm. you. So let's have a little wave. Uh, so we. Know. Oh, that's nice. Um, so the big, most important rule is that there's going to be bonus points if you guess the answer before it's been said. Okay. So you get an extra Ooh. point, but oh, I see. you're frozen out of the round if you get it wrong, and you lose Whoa. a point. Uh, okay. And you lose a point, so you've got to be sure. So, yeah, it's like our old game. Um, there's going to be a song that we all know, and somewhere in the lyrics there might be the name of an MP. I hope there is. Possibly be. from around <laughs> the world. Oh. Uh, they're quite difficult, so um, let's start off with this first one, Joe, if you don't mind. I may not always love you As long as there are stars above you You never need to doubt it I'll make you so sure about it Gordon Brown <laughs> <laughs> Alex, that was Gordon that Brown. Oh yes, They're very subtle. I one. genuinely thought Gordon Brown. I thought don't be stupid. <laughs> well, you definitely stay at that level, Joe. Yeah, no, I know. You didn't choose you're Gordon at my, Brown. You're on for my that. wavelength. <laughs> yeah, the world renowned Gordon, Gordon Brown. Brown song. Oh, it didn't even occur to me, Ren. Okay, question number two. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, brilliant. How many are there, Ed? Five. Not enough. This is me me on my new guitar, yeah. (laughs) Ground control to Major John. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very nice. That's Very great. Uh, what's the answer? John Major. John Major. Oh, yeah, that's correct. Two yeah. points to Alex so far. <laughs> no. You sound surprised. You wrote it. 
number three. Question number three. I don't know what it is that makes me love you so I only know I never want to let you go Plus you started something, can you see? Ever since we've met you've had a hold on me It happens to be true though I only want to... Oh no! Yes, Alex? Justin Trudeau! Correct! Oh, damn it! <laughs> Oh, it's just white, whitewash. Come on, guys. Um, oh, actually, there's a bonus. There's an extra bonus point for this next question. Question number four coming up. Penultimate question. I'm, I'm going early with Theresa May. <laughs> I, I've got... At Joe. Michael Gove. Correct. Uh, Alex, you lose a point for that. Uh, how does it go? Where does, where does Michael Gove come? There she goes. He said, he said oh, Gove instead of goes. Oh, I thought it was Theresa May. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to give people a chance, Alex. Okay, oh, so the bonus question. So the original um, song um, by the Lars... Well, the Lars song was adapted from an old whaler's sea shanty. Anyone know the original original lyrics? Uh, For a bonus. Is it Theresa May? No. <laughs> the answer is there, there she blows. So, on to oh, question number four. That was a good bit. That was a lovely bit. Thank you very much. Mm. Um, so, here's our final question. It's a mysterious, mysterious question. Hit it! Oh, very good. Oh. Stella Creasy. <laughs> very nice. Stella Creasy. Stella Creasy lover. And, uh, I saw her a few days ago in the, uh, by the town hall. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it was. Bonus, bonus point. Why was that so mysterious, guys? That question. Who was singing it? Yeah, it wasn't you singing it. Pedders. That's a bonus point for Mark. In fact, oh. 15 oh, bonus points for really? Mark. Hey. So Mark wins. Amazing. Mysterious Pedro. On Pedro's the on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> With his saxophone, That's wasn't lovely. he? And his voice, yeah. Yeah, I knew it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that was great. There we are. And that's the end of your bit, is it? It sure is, Alex. Uh, Can we hear the theme tune again? Loved it, loved it. Oh, yeah, let's hear the theme tune again. They could be hiding in number 10. They could be hiding in checkers. They could be hiding in a blacked out car. Uh -huh. They could hide in a Westminster bar. They could be hiding in their second home. They could be hiding in their third home. They're probably hiding because they've done something wrong. But are they hiding in a song? Hidden MPs! <laughs> <laughs> Lovely stuff. Uh, that Alex, was great. Yes, Willip? Have I got two minutes to go and get a charger? You might miss my joke. See you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, OK, Willip's gone to get a charger. I'm going to do the joke. Is everyone ready for the joke? Yes, please. No OK. Um, Mark, do you mind doing a little uh, introduction to the joke on, the, on one of your instruments? Oh my, oh, my kids are very bored at the moment, so I thought I'd try to get them into FIFA. I've heard that kids love FIFA, but mine didn't like it. 
I don't know what I did wrong. I put on some Katie Tunstall. I told them all about the University of St Andrews, bought them a map of the Scottish coast and got them to sketch the Falkland Palace. <laughs> but <it's, laughs> it turns out it's pronounced Fife. Fife. <laughs> <laughs> that's my joke. Oh, that's the best that's one yet, Alex. Well done. Three jokes in a row. Alex, yeah. you're quite good at writing jokes, it turns out. Well, that, that, I'm not sure if that was that good. It was quite wordy, the intro. I think it's good. <laughs> but, but it's... Is it as good as my song? Well, this is a collaboration with... Oh, what is... Oh, God. What's going on over there? Is he digging for a charger? <laughs> Got it. All right. You're it's just, not a charger, just... is it? Why are you charging? <laughs> it's fucking huge. It's, that's not a charger. That's an extension lead. <laughs> well, right. it, you're back just in time to hear my song. I right. thought he'd gone and got his lunchbox. This is a, a collaboration with Joe Auckland. Is there anyone else on the recording of this, Joe? Ben Reynolds. Oh, Midhurst. Uh, Is it just the Midhurst boys? It's pure Midhurst, this. Pure oh. Midhurst. And it's either called... Have you finished, Willip? <laughs> OK, this is called Shreds. Is it called Shreds? It's not 3%. I don't mind, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's called Shreds. Here we go. One day there might be a situation When you feel a strong inclination To eat a nice bowl of shredded wheat But it is no longer such a treat What if a poisonous substance Was found in the wheat in abundance What Before people come to any harm Naturally, you'd want to tweet Never eat shredded wheat But no one will think The cereal's infested They'll just think North, east, south, west They'll get infected So how do you get the message out? Notify everyone, something's wrong. Nestle equals sick week long. Nice, uh, subpar wheat a bit. Next explain situation to Katie Wicks. Not enough, sensible words. Now everyone's sleeping in wards. Naughty Edward sometimes whispers. No, Edward, stop whispering. Nasty Edward shouts wusses. Everyone's thinking of compasses. Thinking of compasses. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Excellent stuff. Mm. Lovely. Oh, Auckland. Can I ask? Can I ask you a question? Um, have you got the time? <laughs> Not on my watch. Oh, hey. that is a lovely moment. <laughs> We've almost had enough, but there's one more <laughs> musician to hear from. It's the guy who hits the drums for money. It's Benjamin Reynolds. Hey, Ben. Benjamin. Hi. So you've 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 written something really special. Is that correct? Have I? Really? I can't. Oh, thanks. I, yeah. Have you heard it yet? No. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> do you want thanks to for the critique. Do you want to describe it before before we hear it? Uh, it's a song about. People who have different kinds of phobias. Okay. Hey. There's people with all kinds of fears, and each of them has a name gynophobia, fear of women, armrophobia, fear of rain. Genophobes don't like knees, some are scared of feet Autophobia Octophobes hate the figure of eight, some are afraid to eat meat Vegetarian Hemophobes don't like blood, misophobes hate the mud Echophobia, fear of the home, autophobia Being alone 
guys. For every fear a name, we all should share the load. And if you're frightened of long words, you're a hippopotamonstrosis quipidaliophobe. Hippopotamonstrosis quipidaliophobe. Right. Good acting as well. Educational podcast. Very upbeat with songs as well. Mm. Lovely songs did you, today. Did you know that word before, Alex? I yes. You probably would. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm a bit of a dick. I thought you would, and I thought you are. Hmm. So, uh, well done, Ben. But today's best musician was Willip Collier, the bassist. <laughs> Definitely the noisiest. Two, two covers. And in second place was Mark Brown. Please Thank do you. keep sending in suggestions for us to do stuff. Uh, go to patreon.com if you want your own dingle. Has anyone else got anything to say? No. No. Not on my watch. Thanks to everyone. Thanks to Joel Porter and Joe Walker for all their technical skills. Thanks to Mark, Nick, Joe, Willop and Ben. Oh, thanks to the NHS and the key workers. Thanks to our special guest. Mm. Boo. And may they be paid a fair okay. wage. <laughs> and may they be paid a fair wage. Yeah, stick, stick to <laughs> comedy, <that>. mate. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to our thank you to our special guest Max Rushton and thanks to you for listening and supporting after the dingles we will play you out with some of the most beautiful music in the world goodbye bye, bye. Susan, Susan K. Moses Susan, Susan K. Moses Likes a cup of tea Susan, Susan K. Moses Also likes coffee The best is Chester in the land. The best is Chester. He's a man. The best is Chester might be foreign. The Chester that's called Warren, where the rabbits live. Chester new to Wales. Warren like the BT. Chester's got a clock tower. War and peace. Chester's got a clock tower. War and peace. Chester's got a clock tower. War and Chester. He's the best, sir. War and Chester beat the rest, sir. Warren. The best is Chester in the land. The best is Chester. He's a man. The best is Chester might be foreign. The best is Chester is called Warren. George loves cars and George loves cardigans and George loves carpets and most of this is true. George loves Cardiff and George loves cartilage and George loves cartridges and carbonara too. George plays cards and George loves Castleton. George loves carbon and George loves calves. George loves cartwheels, George loves carnivores, he loves carbohydrates, his x-rays are first rate, he thinks Chairman's super great, George Morris is a dude.